Timbalang, Yajindiri. Hello, my friend, and welcome. My name is Rory O'Connor. I'm a Yugam Bear man from southeast Queensland. This is a story about my great granduncle, Billy Drumley. He was an Aboriginal man who was born in the 1850s and lived to be almost 100. Billy lived out in this country in a place called Bedesert. It's an hour's drive south of Brisbane. It's beautiful country. My mum was born in Bedesert. Billy Drumley would walk across this mountain on his way to visit his little sister and her family. I heard that sometimes he would stop up here for the night. It's called Mount Tambourine, but in Yugambeh it is Chamberin. It is also the name of this little fruit. They also call it a finger lime that only grows up here in the mountains. When I was a kid, I used to love hearing the stories about when the old men, like Drumley, camped up here in the mountains at night. Now our word for camp in Yugambe is inala, and our word for fire is wavera. Now, there were little spirits up here called mogoys, and they lived just in the darkness at the edge of the firelight, so they always stay in the firelight. And I also heard that sometimes, up here in the mountains, little mountain men would come out and sit by your fire. Now, no mountain men tonight, just from mate Leeton, with some fantastic bush foods. What have we got, Leeton? We've got some kangaroo steaks, bunny nuts, lily pillies, and finger limes. Looks fantastic, mate. Mm -mm. In the morning, Billy would head off the mountain, down through the forest, or as we used to call them, the Bobura, down towards the ocean, which we call Borogura. And this is where he arrived, Brighton Parade, Southport, by the Narang River. Nirang is a Yugamere word for a shovel-nosed shark. This site is where his little sister, Jenny Graham, lived. And he would always bring a present, sometimes fruit or desert pumpkins, sometimes bunings or echidnas that he would cook up for the kids. Mum loved bunning, tastes like greasy chicken, she says. And this is a plaque in honour of Jenny. It remembers those days, and those old families. And we remember them too. 